Scorpio. Okay, guys, let's see what's going on for you. Um, a ton of messages I got. People trying to come back. Businesses doing well. Pretty much all good stuff, but I just want to see what's in the cards. Um, okay, so we're starting with the tower. So this is Aries energy, also Scorpio energy, Mars. Okay, so there is, okay, Nine of Cups. So Scorp, this is you. Uh, yeah, okay, so basically this is just, I mean, obviously this has been in the readings if you guys watch me. Uh, major up-leveling has been going on uh, across the board with Scorpios. Um, big things have been happening, but it's been a lot of, like for the single Scorpios, it's been a lot of like the lone wolf just finding your own path. God, this uh, devil Capricorn energy wanted to come out. Yeah, it's breaking all these toxic connections with uh, people that no longer suit the path, right? So staying in this Nine of Cups energy. So we know this, right? So this is, this is where we're at. And it's been achieved through this, strength, Leo energy. So we got Aries here. Uh, Leo, Capricorn, um, Pisces, Ten of Swords, yeah. You guys persevered through this. So you guys have ended a ton of cycles. Quite possibly ten cycles, right? Ten Swords, a cycle for each sword. Or maybe some of you ran like the same cycles over and over, you know? Um, for me, as a Scorpio, I ran like the same cycles over and over for years. You know, like the, it would be like um, I would have the same relationship with different uh, women over and over. Like the same things would go wrong. It was just like a weird, it's called a karmic cycle. You know, when you get, it's like you're stuck in Groundhog Day with a behavioral pattern. You know, um, and you find that when you start digging into it, when you see it, we all have these in some capacity. But when you start digging into it and you actually see it, um, you realize it's like something you saw in your childhood. It's like an imprint of some trauma in your childhood that went unresolved. Um, and now you're like basically kind of like living it out in similar scenarios in your adult life. It's like there's a frequency attached to it. So say um, something happens in your adult life that resonates on that kind of feeling and frequency, it triggers up this response in you. So this is what this is, and this is what you guys have been breaking, right? So this is very, very serious stuff because this is generational um, karma, right? This is what this is. Uh, it's like if these things go unresolved down the gene line and you're uh, ancestors didn't resolve this stuff, or they weren't able to get through it, well, you're going to be dealt with the same lessons. Um, and the universe is going to see how you deal with it. Well, in this age of Scorpios, this is what you guys have done to it. You guys have put the tenth sword in it and ended these cycles. This is like huge stuff because you guys used your intuition. High Priestess, Pisces energy. You've learned how to use your intuition four sorts, you've meditated, you've rested, you've studied all of your knowledge, possibly some of you guys could be into the occult, whatever it is, right? You guys have just gotten uh, some sort of a connection with source energy, spirit, God. You guys are privy to the things that are hidden, the moon, cancer energy. You've been entrusted by spirit because of your hard work, eight of pentacles, in the field of furthering evolution, pushing forward more knowledge to other people, helping other people through your experiences, through the karmic cycles you've ended. See, a lot of people they say to themselves, I mean, I guess we all have done this, right? 
Um, but it's like, for me, once I realized this, it all made sense. And I'm going to tell you this, guys, right? I'll tell you this right now. This is pretty important information, but it's so simple. Typically, your purpose in life is your biggest obstacle, right? So for me, it was like having to end all this generational karma that just kept going through my family, like these learned behaviors. And then they came to me for review. And I was like, yeah, this doesn't work for me. And so I transmuted a lot of this energy. So now those situations that my family wasn't able to resolve and I am now resolving this through my work by helping other people, that's my purpose in life. So it's like my biggest obstacles because I couldn't figure out why I couldn't progress in certain areas of my life. So I had to really start digging into um, myself and the core of me and what really made me tick. And then I saw some things there that were unresolved. And once I started to heal those things, everything's, everything just started to snap into place. Um, I can't even explain how much of a miracle it is when it happens. Uh, it, it truly is a real thing. So when you do this, it's like the universe embraces it. The universe is excited that you're on board. They're like, oh my God, thank you so much. We've been looking for people and we just can't seem to find anybody out there. We've had this for hire sign up forever. No one wants to, uh, you know, get in line with uh, God anymore. You know, so I don't know. Thanks for showing up, right? Justice, Libra energy. So by doing this, by just getting in line with spirit, the universe, God, which really is just you having an increase in self-care and realizing your self-worth and doing all these things, realizing what makes you tick. These are the things that allow you to get in line with God and the universe. So it brings in this own, your own karmic justice, right? And the more you do it, the, the more abundant you start to feel and the more abundant you are. It's like, as soon as you do that, it's like the universe wants to provide for you with what you need, right? Because they see the pureness in you. It has to come from a pure place. It's, it's just what you need, not what you want, just what you need, right? This is the way we live is just by what we need. And then typically if that's coming from a pure place, you're left with more than you need anyway. People don't even get that. It's just the universe wants to test us, right? Because it's a way of gaining wisdom for evolution on a grander scale. Okay. What else do we got for Scorps here? King of Cups. Yeah. See, and this is what allows you this, this new behavioral pattern, right? That you're going to send down the gene line now, right? You reviewed these behavioral patterns that your forefathers sent down the gene line and you said no. So now you're bringing things into a balance and you're sending this energy down the gene line, right? The King of Cups, uh, a person who is very stable emotionally, but also has this drive and passion. See, the King of Cups also has fire with him, right? It's like just following this path, everything just falls into place. They don't want you to see this path, right? Seven of Swords. They do not want you to see this path. They want to keep all the secrets to themselves, right? The knowledge, the deep knowledge that's been hidden there for all of, a for all of mankind. My stomach's growling like crazy too, so I don't know what that means. I'm not really hungry. I did, did just drink mud water. Have you guys ever drank that stuff, mud water? It's really good. It's like a, kind of like a coffee alternative. It's lower in caffeine. Okay, what else for Scorp? This is a really awesome reading, Scorp. Okay. Where are we at? Okay, let's get one more for Scorpio. I feel like we just covered a lot in a very short amount of time. I can't believe it's only at uh, 9.50 seconds, 9 minutes, 50 seconds. Whew. Perfect card to end on Scorpio, the sun, okay? 
this is it, Scorpio, this is the path. All right, you take all those things that have been your burdens, you resolve them, okay, get through them. Whatever it is, get through them somehow, get help. Whatever you need to do, get through them. Just start now, do something, right? And then once you get through them enough to where you can look back and go, you know what, I've resolved this portion of that. I, I could probably help some people with that same sort of thing. Then you take that and you package that shit up, all right? And that's how you're gonna help people. That is your gift for people. You, your experiences. This is what the universe, the universe puts us down here and they already give us like jobs. It's like uh, university is basically us living a life so, and then taking that knowledge and teaching it to other people. The universe makes us professors, right? So we're supplied with everything. We just need to utilize it. All right, Scorpio, if you guys want a personal reading, all the information is in the description below. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys again soon. Thank you.